Welcome to Bible Adventure. I'm so excited that you guys are joining us for Rocky Railway this summer. It's going to be awesome. In these videos, we're going to talk about some totally true Bible stories, especially stories about Jesus' power, because Jesus is powerful. But before we start, I want to show you something. Check this out. Look, it's the company buffer. And now, it's the mask. Cool, huh? That might be hard for you, but it's easy for me. I love string games. I practice them so much. What's something that's really easy for you to do? Drawing. Finding a friend. Uh, build with Lego. It's fun, and, uh, and um, I like to build magical forests and castles and things. Now it's your turn. You can pause this video and talk with your family about something that comes really easy to you. Now I've got the opposite question for you. What's something that's really hard for you to do that you don't think you'll ever get good at? Here's mine, whistling. I have tried so many times, I don't think I'll ever be able to whistle. What's something that's really hard for you to do? Learning how to read. How to read. Uh... Saying sorry to someone. Eat meat. I hate meat. It's gross. Now it's your turn. You can pause the video and talk with your family about something that's really hard for you to do. We all have things that are hard for us to do jobs that seem too big, or stuff that seems too complicated to even try. But when you run into something like that, remember this. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. You know, I remember a time when I had something really hard to do. It was when I... Ananias, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm hiding. Hiding from who? From everyone. Well, that's not working. Stand up and tell us what's going on. By the way, guys, this is my friend Ananias. Oh, hi everyone. We're on camera. Oh, why exactly are you hiding? It's Saul. He's here in Damascus to arrest anyone who loves Jesus. And I love Jesus. Well, I guess you... He's thrown a lot of Jesus' friends in prison, and he's here in Damascus. Oh, I guess you haven't heard. How Jesus appeared to Saul, and how a bright light shone around Saul, and Saul heard Jesus' voice, and then Saul fell on the ground, and how when he was blind, and then his buddies came here to Damascus? Yeah, I heard that. So, oh, why are you hiding? And why are you wearing that silly mustache? It's a disguise. Ow! Well, thanks. Now you've blown my cover. Trust me, it wasn't working. And by the way, you already have a mustache. Well, God came to me in a vision this morning and told me that I should go straight to Straight Street and when I got there to ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. Wow. Yeah. And then I should place my hands on Saul and pray for him so that Saul would be able to see again. So, why are you here instead of doing what God asked you to do? Because when Saul is able to see, guess what he's going to see? Me. 
and Saul arrests Christians and throws them in jail. He uses rocks like this and he throws them at them. And he uses rope like this to tie them up and put them in jail. And I don't know what he uses this for, but I don't want to find out. Why is God asking me to do such a hard thing? You know what? I knew you would say that because before you came in, we were just talking about doing hard things. You know what? Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Okay, but this is a really hard thing. A super hard thing. And I'm afraid. I'm not sure if I can do it. Have you ever had to do something hard and you weren't sure that you could do it? I have. And my friends have too. We were just talking about it. You know, it's easy to talk about trusting Jesus, but sometimes it's hard to do in real life. Would you like to try something with me? Yes. Do you trust me? Yeah. Okay. And stand over here with your back to me. Now hold your body just like a board and fall straight backwards. Fall backwards? Yeah, but I'll catch you. Okay, here we go. See, <laughs> you did it. That was scary. Yeah, falling backward on purpose is hard and scary. Is that how you're feeling about being fall? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Do you guys want to try this at home too? You can pause the video and give it a try with your brother, your sister, your mom, or your dad, or whoever you're hanging out at home with. So, what was that like? I wish I could see you guys trying it out at home. You know, Earlier we were talking about something you might find hard to do, like whistling or learning to read. But sometimes bigger hard things happen, like if you have to move or if you have a break with a friend. And we're in a really hard thing right now together, the COVID pandemic. It's tough for everyone. What's COVID? Oh, never mind. The point is, we're not alone. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Now, all that's left is for you to go do what you need to do. Are you ready? Um... <clears throat> would you feel better if I prayed for you? Yeah, I think I would. Praying is just talking to God. He can give you courage you need to do a hard thing. Let's pray. Dear God, please give Ananias the courage he needs to do what you asked him to do. In your name, amen. Okay? Okay. I don't need this, do I? I don't need to worry about being afraid because Jesus' power helps me do hard things. You are right. Go for it. Okay, I'm going to go do this. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Well, I hope you get to find out how that turns out for Ananias. Maybe he'll stop by later and tell us. Thanks for visiting me today, and I hope I'll see you next time too for another totally true Bible adventure. Bye!